What is up everybody? It's the Inhuman one here with part 36 of the Elden Ring playthrough. We are pretty much just exploring the mountaintop of giants and it looks like there's a, uh, a frozen walking mausoleum off in the distance I didn't even notice before. But what we're going to do is we're going to do everything we can to, you know, I'd say carefully explore this area, uh, see what this is and then cross over here on the mountainside or the mountain. That way we can see uh, what's on the other side. I know that we had actually found the Shack of the Lofty as we fought Juno Hoslow, but there's plenty of ruins around here, so I say that we explore what we can, uh, try and activate some of these uh, map fragments as well, and then we can continue exploring. So the key will be to explore this area, grab the map fragment, come back up, explore what else is up here, if anything, and then see if we can come back down on this side, obtain that map fragment from that steel, and then continue our exploration. It looks like we're at the, the final stretch of the game, so I'm really excited about that. I just want to make sure that we are thorough and explore as much as possible so that we don't miss anything. We just passed by uh, our little friend uh, Yura, who is now Shabriri. And the enemies here are pretty tough. They actually do have some frost elements to them, so we're going to have to tread pretty softly here. My controller's still jacked up. Not only that, but I dropped it just a few moments ago, so it's always good. Just to add a little bit to the challenge. <laughs> Alright, so here we go. Let's see if we can find a way up here. Um, I do see some ruins, so I'm sure that maybe we can circle all, all the way around or something to get up to. I'm not entirely sure just yet, but we'll find out. Let's see here. Ooh, I see a path. Oh gosh, and I forgot there's crows here. Easy does it. Yeah, these crows are incredibly strong for no reason. And they never hit you, so it's impossible to guard counter them. Those are worse than the grafted crows in Stormvale Castle, I say. Alright, so let's see if we can come up here, grab some of this stuff. I'm going to see if I can circle back up and around. I feel like I should be able to. You need to calm down, sir. I'm missing all my shots. That's wonderful. Can't switch over. There you go. That could have been lethal. I was trying to use my gravity well to pin them to the floor, but if you miss, if they're that agile, that is, uh, it could be your death sentence there. So let's see. Fire Blossom, and I don't think this is going to circle around. Nope. And there's no way I can make it up there. There's nothing up there anyways. Okay, so maybe there is a, like an alternate pathway up that side of the ledge. That is an interesting looking tree. We grabbed that item before, so we're good. There's a bird over here, if I'm not mistaken. They don't like grabbing that, that's for sure. Alright. This is kind of like the pseudo fire monk village over here. Got a question though, did I just go around instead of through? Because I thought you could actually go through and maybe that's what I've been missing this whole time. No, it's just the same thing. Okay, perfect. Nice and confusing. Now there's that big boy over there too. He respawned, so that's unfortunate. Now if I recall correctly, I've already searched this. Yep. This over here. So now we're looking for waypoint 2, which seems to be up on top of the mountain here, or that plateau. So we'll have to check that out for sure. Let's see if we can get a backstab. They seem incredibly distracted. That guy's also doing something. Actually, before I fight him, I'll just go ahead and de defeat the rest of these. Chicken Wagger says, Hey, yo, did you kill Rikard? I sure did. Remember that was the day you ate, you had the pizza and you missed you missed it because you got that delicious meat pizza and then I had to get pizza later because of you. <laughs> I remember. 
Yeah, I think so, anyways. I know I beat him for sure, but I thought that was that stream whenever you eat getting pizza and you're like, damn it, you beat him after you got, I got the pizza. I'm like, yep. Nice projectile. I've seen this guy before. Just trying to find my way up on top of this mountain here. Okay. Got some good range on him. Yep, there it goes. With that range again. Oh gosh. Yep. Don't do a projectile. And you're dead. Okay, perfect. That'll work for me. Oh, I didn't beat him yet. Okay, no, I ended up beating him then for sure. Oh, oh, you're right, you're right. I ended up beating him the next day, or um, I think on like the second or third try, and it was a really clean victory. I just needed to dodge more. I was just getting a little too greedy with the strikes, and also I was a little too heavily reliant on the uh, the special strike like that if you charged L2. So I started using like R1s and R2s as well, and it just made quick work of them. I was able to deal like additional damage. So how do I get up here? I want. Oh, okay. There's some dudes up there. Maybe that's how. The hell? Oh, whoops. Oh, I'm not meaning to do that at all. But that's pretty cool, though. Nice. And Godfrey. Yeah. Let's see. I think we were talking about some other. Oh, that's right. Godfrey. <laughs> God, well, Godfrey's like shade, right? We know that's not Godfrey. I don't know where real Godfrey is, but that's definitely uh, his shade. I defeated Moog as well. Moog the Omen. And that was a pretty fun fight. Uh, actually, it was a lot of fun. Ah, let's see. Can you reach? Seriously? I just want the extra flasks. Yeah, so I don't know how to get up here. I guess that's uh, a mystery for another day. There's definitely something up here. So I'll just put that so I can remember. Definitely a dungeon or something up there. I don't know how to get to just yet. Could be an illusory wall in the mountainside or something. To that effect but instead we're gonna cross this we already crossed this earlier though uh at least once before so it's not a complete mystery to us there's gonna be some uh a golem archer oh, we should be fine i dodged them last time i should be able to dodge them they're pretty generous with the uh the walls and the barricades over here so we should be all right man i had to get pizza that oh it was so good too gosh it was good Nothing like a good pizza. I don't even see the um, the archer this time. You know, the funny thing is I killed him over when I walked over there the first time, so he probably doesn't respawn. I don't see him at all. So that's good. Hey, look at us. We're being proactive. Yeah, so now I can, like, safely explore. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Okay, so we'll go ahead and grab this golden rune seven. Almost fall off. Hold on one second. There's a spider in my daughter's room. Where's the baby? Show me. All right, I had to go kill some spiders. My daughter was running, freaking out. I was like, that's a fine, 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 I got it. I don't know what kind of spider it was. Let me take a look. I took a picture of it first because that looked like a mean one. 
Let me take a look at this picture here. That thing was creepy. Eh, I don't think it's a brown recluse. I'll have to just double check though. All right, back to the matter at hand. All right, so yep, no golem because we already took him out. Excellent. Makes it nice and easy for us. And yep, this is where he would have been. I didn't grab any items because I just wanted to make sure I didn't lose track of where I was or anything. There's Golden Rune 13, another big one. Have you been to the Elden Throne Grace yet? Uh, where I, I defeated Morgot. So Mar Mar Margot was Morgot, uh, technically, I guess. <laughs> I think Margot was just his, I don't know, a pseudonym, like another name, like an alias. But he's actually Morgot, the Omen King. I defeated him, and that was an excellent fight as well. That was really good. It was like Margot 2.0. Absolutely loved his attacks and stuff. Defeated him. Um, yeah, got through all that area. Got the secrets. Talked to Gold Mask. One of them big ashes over here. What is happening? I forgot to play the damn game already. Okay. Hello, friend. You can't turn faster than me. Okay, yeah. Yeah, you can. You can't run from me. Oh, yes, you can. Oh! Don't do it. We got somber smithing stone eight. Snapture. Want to become famous? No, I don't. Let's ban this idiot. Hmm, <laughs> Chicken, I almost banned you on accident. Alright, sweet. Now that we got rid of that. So we got a somber smoothing stone 8. At this point, I just need the ancient uh, dragon somber smoothing stone so I can max out my sword of Saint Trina. And spiders are the bane of all existence. Oh, man. Yeah, the Morgoth fight was good, too. It was really good. Like, I almost got him the first try, actually. It was really easy. But um, I was just taking a lot of damage because of my all the seals I have on and stuff. And so I got him, like, I don't know, probably the third or fourth try. Each try, though, I got him. I think the first try I almost killed him. Second try, I, I just I got destroyed because I wasn't really, like, uh, used to that one of his attacks that he did. And then after that, I was like, oh, okay, I got this. And then I was able to take him out. It was an excellent fight, though. I, I really enjoyed fighting Morgoth. And then I defeated Moog as well. Moog was, like, in these uh, towers. Uh, and I'm sorry, not towers. I said towers. It's underground areas, what I meant to say. Not towers at all. The opposite of towers. He was in the opposite of towers. And it was awesome. Uh, we went to these shunning grounds, and we met with Dung Eater and all of that. And then eventually we ended up uh, facing off with Moog. And uh, I, just for the hell of it, I just was really curious because I had, I had obtained the shackle. So I used Morgoth shackle. And you can use it twice. And it actually pins him down for like, I don't know, maybe three seconds. <laughs> it's not incredibly helpful, but it is pretty cool because it just kind of pins him down mid-attack or mid-anything. And uh, that's just a really cool animation. You get a few free hits in. He's so quick, though. You don't, you don't get... You know, you don't get to capitalize on it too much, but it is nice. It's still nice to get some free hits in. But that was a good fight. I like fighting Moog as well. I get confused because, like, I guess story-wise, I don't know. Yeah, I'll find out, I'm sure. But Margot seems to be Margot. And then Moog was also, I thought, one of the uh, lords. But I'm not sure because apparently there's another Moog fight. And I'm like, okay, so why would there be two Moog fights? Like, is it the same thing? Like, where I'm fighting an illusion? Or, I don't understand that. How much of the snowy area have you explored? This is actually the extent of it. All I did was I, I have, I can't find this area. So I just went to the Zamora Ruins, found my item there. Cleared out the mountaintop catacombs. And just crossed this. And then all I did from there is I went to the shack. And I fought Juno. 
and that's it. I this is actually me exploring it thoroughly for the first time. I've actually never done it before, so we're gonna check out these ruins there too, though. Um, so yeah, none of these areas have been searched. The only reason it shows that I've been at the heretical rise is because I had to invade, because they forced you to play online to complete Vade's quest. So I went ahead and just used three fingers while I was here, and I got destroyed because you know how like the kids are like they um, everybody that plays Souls like or like any kind of Souls game that has a companion they're usually really sucky and underleveled, and then they have like their companion which is super OP that ganks you, and I was like oh come on, so I just got completely destroyed, um, and I wasn't I was expecting nothing less. That's why I'm not doing the online play right now. Everybody's too cheap. They're running around with companions and stuff, and. There's no honor. No one bows or anything, so I wasn't even, like, trying to play that. I just was like, yep, I'm going to get ganked. Let's go ahead and get this over with. So I died three times, and, and that was that. But I was able to progress his quest. I got the blood of a, a bloody favor, and I soaked it in the blood of one of the dead maidens in the beginning of the game. And then after that, I got some, like, token or medallion that allows me to um, apparently visit Moog. But I'm like, I just killed Moog, so... But he said I have to wait, so... I don't know. Lots of stuff going on. Okay, you have the best of the area left. Good, I didn't miss that. Nice. Very nice, and that's good to know. They've got a good area coming up. I'm sure there's going to be some excellent boss fights. I'm also thinking... I guess this is actually snow. For a moment, I thought it was ash, but... Everyone here has, like, frost element to them. Like, the Zamor warriors and stuff. And now they're regular enemies. They're no longer are they bosses. So that's pretty cool. Where was I trying to go? Oh, that's right. I got to circle all the way around to go here then. It's fine. We'll go through this little basin here. I ran right through this, and then there were some bats and stuff earlier. We got a golem over there. Very nice. Should be relatively easy to take out. That one's dead. Very nice. Very nice. All right, let's do this. Yeah, there's another Moog boy. Oh, there's another Moog left. Oh, boy. <laughs> I read that wrong. I don't understand. So are there two Moogs? Or is that just like, I just fought an illusion? Like, I, I need to understand that, lore-wise. I don't, I don't know. Because Margit, it was a similar situation. Ouch. Margit was just pretending, though, I think. He just was using a face and a false name. I don't know why. And, like, he literally changed two letters in his name. You'll never find out who I am, Margit. Margot. And I'm playing sloppy today. I'm trying to, funny thing is I'm like trying to play my, like I would have like my level 1 and I can't do my L2s and stuff. I'm like, what am I doing? So I'm just like, whoops. It's not the way to play this build. How many times must you slash? You have way too much health, and you're just more of a waste of time, really. That was cheap. Ankles. <laughs> you're not even worth a critical. Alright, cool. So now, he's out of the way. I wonder if those golems respawn or not. For Oddly, the other one did not. And they're not tough. I mean, they're not like too tough. I'm just curious. Oh, it's nighttime, so the demi-humans are all super saiyaned up right now. Let me dual wield. I don't know why I'm not. What you doing, crazy man? Good morning. Hope you're having a great day, and I will. I'm going to have a great stream. It just started, so just warming up. Still still making silly mistakes here, but once I warm up, it's going to be smooth. Smooth, smooth, smooth. Come here, demi-human. <laughs> and all his friends are going to come. I don't mind a few extra Falcons, though. Chicken says, I think the first Moog you fight is just an illusion, just like the Godfrey, but Margot is the real identity of Margit. Okay. Okay. And and Margit is probably also an illusion because he just disappears like that. And to me, it looks like he was just trying to pretty much keep the Tarnished from 
Like, he doesn't want anybody else to do anything with the tree. Like, he, because he kind of took the seat of the tree, and he's like, no one can get in. I can't get in. No one can get in. So I think he was just pretty much like, hey, everybody tries to take down uh, Go Godric, because everybody hates him, because he's a jerk. And he was probably like, let me just go ahead and kill the Tarnished that try and face off with him so that uh, they can prevent he can prevent them from being the next you know lord I guess and he he couldn't open the I guess the roots or that b sealed off path to the Erd tree's roots and it was like all branched off or whatever so curious all right so we can go this way yeah might as well we'll go we'll go this way first so we'll go to my control is so jacked up. It does not let me turn right, like, at all. It's super annoying. Every time I try and hold to the right, it forces me back to the left. And just drives me nuts. Another one. Dodge. Get some of this increased damage. No oh, fire. Love that fire. And then the rock sling. Nice. Yeah, so seriously, bro, like. You don't want to fall down. Chicken says he is the self-proclaimed last of all the kings. I think he's just salty, and he can't be a true Elden Lord. Indeed. Not only that, but he was born, you know, kind of omeny. So, of course, he was probably cast out, you know what I'm saying, because he was ugly. Uh, let's see, what are they doing? we we'll go up here. Yeah, that's pretty awesome, though. The story so far is amazing. Oh, this is the other pathway. Probably need to go ahead and grab the... Uh... Hmm, that actually falls off, though. I'll say we need to go grab the map seal, but that's probably not going to work. Because we'll fall to our deaths. Because of gravity. All right, let's go kill this bro. Wakey, wakey. All those opportunities for hits that I just missed. What's he doing? Oh, lovely. Try that again. These are really annoying. I don't like the ones with uh, <laughs> the halberds. And I think that's the point. It's gonna keep swinging, aren't ya? There you go. Once you fall down, as good as dead. If you want to fall down. He's never going to fall down. Is he? That'll work too. 26,000 runes. Oh no, I should have had him destroy this. Damn. That's okay. I'm sure he'll respawn. <clears throat> It'll just be materials, but... Free mats or free mats. I'll take them. Free bolstering materials. I will take those all day. Just in case we want to change up our loadout at some point. Maybe a New Game Plus. I definitely will add some armor in New Game Plus just for the sake of looking cool. And then uh, probably add some 
different weapons to the mix as well. I love the set that I have right now, though. Yeah, let's just piss this guy off real quick so he can go destroy this for us. Come here. Stony. Come here, big guy. Come on. You are very slow. Look at how my controller just fighting. Poor Torrent looks like he's having a seizure, but it's actually just my controller going crazy. I need to get a new one. Like ASAP. Come on, bro. Like, seriously? You come here. Do not back away. What are you doing? I have no clue why he would do that. Why he'd back away. <clears throat> come here. I'm going to have a drink of my water in the meantime. Yeah, he didn't want to. That's fine. I'm not playing with that. It's probably this one then that'll chase us or something. That's really trolly. Not sure why he would do that. <clears throat> not trying to attack. Ooh, nice. Bunch of jellyfish over here. That means there's definitely going to be some sort of either secret item or secret area. Let's just take a look and see what we got so far, though. I'm trying to activate my map. There you go. So there's... Oh, perfect. One of these uh, bird's eye view telescopes. We'll go ahead and take a look at them. I had no clue what these were the first time I saw them on the map. I never saw the actual item itself, though. All right, so we got some jellyfish, bros. Uh, another pathway up here with some skeleton dudes. That'll take us across this way. Okay. And then we've got this entire area over here. Uh, just a frozen lake. I'm sure there's something on the other side. I'm not even sure what this is. I can't tell if that's like just a floating rock or what, but okay. Nothing too special there. Okay. So pretty much, I'll, after I search the frozen lake, we'll come back up this way. We'll cross this bridge. See what's over there. See if we can get to these ruins right here. This is just another rise. Probably another memory stone, which at this point, I already actually unequipped some spells. Because it's just a little, a little much at this point. Alright, I don't even need so many spells. Here goes. So these are pissed for some reason. Typically, they don't just start off aggroed, you know? They don't wake up angry. Oh, that's why. Because they see this little thing. Teardrop Scarab. Oh, you just went and did it, didn't you? Damn it. Okay, we'll wait for that one then. <clears throat> That's a shorter path. Some of these have gone across like the entire lakes and stuff. I'm like, what is going on here? Damn it. <clears throat> oh. Where are you? How the balls did I miss that? Okay, it's fine. Margot the Salty. There it is. We got the... Ooh. <laughs> Ash of War Seppuku. I love this blood stuff. So let's see what it does, though. Uh, da, 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 da. 
Let's just go to order of acquisition, shall we? Keep it simple. Usable on swords as well as pole arms, capable of thrusting, small and colossal weapons accepted. Seppuku, a forbidden technique used by swordsmen from the land of reeds. Plunge the blade into your stomach to stain it with blood. Increases attack power and improves ability to inflict blood loss. Nice. Very nice. Okay. We could probably use that on like our rapier or something. I need a good skill on it. Because the thrust is kind of whack. Alright, nice. I like that. If you guys want the seppuku, you're going to have to figure out how to read this invisible map here. <clears throat> what I sh Oh, what I should do. Damn it. Alright, guys. My bad. Having to backtrack. I'm still kind of rusty. Still waking up. Let's go. Yeah. I think I'm going to have to go up and around, to be honest. Up and around so we can grab the um, the map still. Because I, I, I don't like to explore areas without the map. Just because if I'm going to show you guys where the locations are at. And also, if I'm trying to figure it out for myself, there's no way in hell I'm going to be able to do that. Let's just go grab that map fragment real quick. And then we'll go explore the frozen lake. I like that we got that. You know, it makes more sense, though, to use... A katana or some other weapon like that that actually you know is from the land of reeds as they call it but sometimes you just can't have everything you want I'll probably just use it on the rapier to be honest oh lovely that's gonna be the death of me <clears throat> and all we're trying to do right now is just grab the map fragment I like these little skeleton snail things, those are cool. We'll tag this side of Grace because why not? I like how these are situated so closely and then some of the other areas are just so far apart and you're just hoping like, oh gosh, I need a save point, like, now. I hear a walking mausoleum somewhere and there's probably a tibia mariner or something nearby because my uh the beast eye quivers which means there's death root nearby oh wow okay the big skeleton over there which i will defeat but man i just need the freaking map steel first i'm going the wrong way too oh Wolnir, what are you doing? I'm dead. <clears throat> Wolnir is back. Man, this is a sloppy stream so far. Not really happy about that. It's not playing right. Alright, let's see here. So I need to go to the right. So what the hell was I doing then? I thought that's what I was trying to do. <clears throat> I'm just mixed up today. Those early morning streams, if you not wake up right, it, it definitely affects you, that's for sure. I'm like, oh yeah, right is right. Yes, yes. Too bad you can't kill those little uh, invisible lambs, those little ghost lambs. I tried it many times. Just goes right through them. Also, I just really want a new controller. It's kind of frustrating. I hate that... He's jittering around like that. It just really bothers me. And when I'm trying to dodge or strafe to the right, it's really an issue as well. Why can't I um, use my map? It's like none of these enemies are even in range. All right. So where is this? Just keeping one waypoint for now so I don't lose my way. Because I am just not mentally here today. Uh, that looks like another cave. Which is great, but not what we need right now. A stone sword key. We have plenty. Okay. Nice dragon encounter, just, you know, that's fine. Tail swipe, you're no different than your brethren, are you? 
These have a lot more health. Oh, lovely. He spews out frost instead of flame. That's pretty cool. You got lots of health, bruh. Mm -hmm. That's not good. Run, baby, run. Okay. Borealis the Freezing Fog. Bite, and then we'll punish right here. here. Ah, there you go. And a foot stomp. These dragons are all the same. But my controller is not acting right. It's getting worse, too. Oh, what the hell was that? There's no way. <laughs> no way. More ice, huh? Sunshine last says, hello. What's up, Sunshine? How are you? I am playing terribly. Frustrated because my controller's messed up. Uh, and I'm lost. I'm confused. I'm half asleep. But it's going to be a good stream nonetheless. Because we're fighting a dragon, so that's always a good way to wake up. Yeah, that was close. Okay. Do a slash attack right here. Dodge that stomp. I don't know why I'm locked on. You don't want to be locked onto a dragon. Enemies this big typically are just more of a nuisance if you locked onto them. There you go. Got the bleed to proc twice. Tail swipe. There you go. We'll punish the face right here. Oh, I missed. That is unfortunate. He's doing his roar. Do the roar. And we die. No worries. So Borealis, the freezing fog. I'm prepared for you this time at least. <laughs> Chicken, I just saw your message. Sees a giant skeleton coming from it. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's exactly what I thought. I was like, oh, okay. It's going to be one of those days. That's all I was thinking. I was like, hmm. That's what we're doing today. So is this a bridge here? Oh, it is. Okay, okay. That's what we're going to do. We're going to go to waypoint two real quick. It's a bridge. Actually, I think it's the top of the waterfall, and that's all I'm trying to cross. So, if I cross that, then I can get the maps deal. Then my OCD will allow me to continue playing the game. Because if I can't see where the hell I'm going, I need to see my map. I need my map. And not because I can't navigate the area. That's fine. I can do that. But it's just more so I want to be able to show you guys where the items are. I want to know for myself where the items are as well for future playthroughs, too. So, it's like I want to have the map. It's a really good visual aid for me. I am definitely a visual kind of guy. Uh, let's see. So this would be the top. Or would it? That was where the dude was. This is the top of the waterfall over here. Yeah, so the map fragment must still be back over there then. Because there isn't a way across. Because we tried that. That was actually a uh, insta-death, if you will. Sorry, guys. I keep having to look. Okay, yeah, it's fine. Let's go kill the dragon, then. We'll kill the dragon. That way we can explore a little bit more freely and then maybe go up and around to grab the map fragment from that map steal. And, of course, these jellyfish were showing us the way to that uh, cave that's got the imp barrier. Let's see here. Where's our little dragon friend? There he is. Ooh, I missed my attack opportunity there. I don't have a lot of... Well, I'm, it doesn't matter anyways. I was going to say, I don't have a lot of frost resistance. Doesn't much matter. Not like I'd use it. I'm running with my prisoner gear for the whole game. <laughs> Dodge. Okay. Very nice. Let's, what, what are you doing here? 
just flying around, but he's just repositioning then in that case. We're gonna use Torrent just to speed things up a bit. Normally I wouldn't use Torrent, but I don't mind. I'm just trying to get uh, repositioned as well every time he changes. I'm gonna go ahead and skip forward right here, dodge this attack. What are you doing, a tail spike maybe? Nope, a bite. See if we can hit him this time. Ah, uh, a little bit too short. He's doing that frost attack, so I'm gonna try and roll through it, because that actually uh, staggers me quite a bit. Nice, I think I died. That stomp actually killed me. Typically, if you're on the outside of the other foot, opposite of the one he's stomping, you're gonna be fine or out of range, but I just didn't time my iframes right, so I had to be, uh, I knew I wasn't gonna clear the distance, so I was trying to time it right, and I did not. I did not. And we lost the runes, not too concerned about it. It takes me about 80,000 or so to level up at this point, so 20, 30,000 runes is just not going to be enough for me to to fuss about for sure. We can probably get, I'd say maybe 70 to 80,000 runes from that dragon. So that'll be good. And then once we defeat the dragon, we'll go find that map steal. So we can grab the map fragment and then just have full visibility of this area here. The funny thing is in the second fight, the dragon actually had much le like, there was much less visibility um, in this area. Like, I know when I first, first fought him, there was a really thick snowstorm blizzard, and then after that, I could see really well. That second round, he was definitely, uh, he was definitely a little bit more uh, hard to see for the first few seconds. There he goes. Uh, where you at, Borealis? There you go. Nice. Uh, he's repositioning. Again, pretty hard to see, but I'm just kind of going where the, uh, where the most motion is at. I'm gonna jump and do our two-handed slash. Okay. I'm going to slash the wings. Keep some distance here. Now we're going to come in close again. Go towards one of his wings. I like his right wing. That's my favorite. Let's see what he's doing here. Okay, he's just going to allow us to hit him. We'll go ahead and proc some bleed there and then we'll keep slashing away. He's going to just reposition there again, which is perfect. Get out of the way of this. Jumping slash. He's gonna do a stomp. It's fine, we can dodge those. Looking for a tail swipe, but he's doing those bites instead. We gotta dash or roll through this actually. If not, it'll stagger us a little bit too much. There's a tail swipe there. Got him in the face. Foot stomp, gotta get the iframes. Gonna go for this foot now. And he's gonna be flying away, repositioning it looks like. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, also reposition with Torrent and get to his right wing. We can let him spew and then can jump off here. We're gonna activate our increased attack power. And sprint away right here. Gonna flask up, get on top of Torrent, reposition. Try and bait some frost flame or whatever you want to call it. There you go. Stomp. I see, I haven't seen a tail swipe yet. Eh, that's a lazy tail swipe right there. The one where he doesn't actually follow with the bite, so that's good. I'm gonna flask up right here just for safety. He, his stomps can pretty much kill us in about one hit, so he's going to reposition again. You can tell by the way that he actually leaves the ground what kind of flight he's going to do, so that's good. Stomp, okay, very nice. We haven't proc bleed more than once yet. Tail swipe, that's the big tail swipe we like. I missed his face, so now he's going to punish with this. It's okay. 
have to move towards his right. You can dodge these flames. He's breathing. I guess they're flames. It's like frost or whatever. Frost flames. I can't move because I'm stuck in his uh, wing. Nice. That's his, I guess. I'm assuming that's like his second phase attack he opens up. And that's unfortunate because I was stuck in his wing. No good. No good at all. Alright. I'm curious if fire would hurt that dragon. I, I don't know if it would, but he is a frost dragon, right? So, I'm curious. What is your weakness? I have some dragon wound grease as well I could potentially use. But that second phase is going to be a problem no matter how we slice it because I'm not familiar with that attack, so I'm assuming if he just kind of sits on his hindquarters like that and roars upward, he's going to do that special attack. So on that one, I'm not going to get close at all. I'm just going to probably ride Torrent, uh, clear that AoE distance, and then go ahead and come back in. Hopefully he doesn't spam that, though. I'm not sure. But we'll have to watch for that, because if so, that'll kill us. It pretty much stuns us since we have, like, no armor on whatsoever. So that's going to be a tough one. But no worries, this will help me warm up too. I haven't had a hard boss fight and I've been dying like crazy to easy stuff, so this is a good warm up. A little bit slower. I'm progressing much slower than I would have liked though, and I just wanted to get that map too. Let's see what he's doing. Nice, knocked me right off the torrent. Nice. What's he doing here? Tail swipe? Yep, that's a lazy one though. Tail swipe. Go ahead and get the slash on the face. Dodge away. He's just repositioning, so we're gonna get in a little closer. Go to his right wing, see if we can get a few more attacks in. Dodge, there you go. Slash the face. I missed though, unfortunately, so we're gonna have to dodge through here and not get punished. Got the iframes on that dodge there, but when he stomps, there's frost everywhere. Okay, I didn't know that. Dodge the tail swipe. So when he stomps, we have to get on the other side. We have to clear that entirely. Good to know, though, at least, because I had no clue. If he stomps, I'm running away. <laughs> the bite. There you go. And another stomp. That's a tail swipe. Miss. Let me see if we can roll through this. Not get punished too bad, hopefully. Now we need to reposition as well. We're not quite at phase two yet. He doesn't seem to be doing anything special, so we're gonna stay off on the side here. I'm curious and kind of cautious as well to make sure that when we aggro that or get that second phase, we know what to do here. Is it a lazy tail swipe? Yep. Sprinting away. Still got tagged by it, it's okay. I'm gonna flask up, get on torrent. Once I get off to the side, I'll flask up again. On the run. Bite. Missed the slash. Narrowly dodged that stomp attack there. He's got the frost kind of procking everywhere. Doing another stomp. I'm just gonna keep my distance. He's going to reposition again. Let's see. He's at exactly 50% health, so he's going to do something fancy here. I can just feel it. I'm just waiting for that new move of his. Tail swipe. Dodge, dodge, dodge. 
Got to get away from this frost over here. Lazy tail swipe. Okay, that's just his normal attack. I wasn't sure if that was a special one. Gonna stay away from the frost. He's gonna reposition here, so we're gonna follow him. Now this is where I'm expecting that crazy attack, so I'm just gonna stay on Torrent until he commits to a strike. Okay. What are you doing, buddy? This is the big attack. Okay. Yep, that could have been bad. Now let's just hope he doesn't spam that. Tail swipe. I'm gonna flask up just because I'm nervous. Dodge, dodge, dodge. I'll get hit a few times, it's fine. Got the bite. Missed. Gonna move away towards his right side so we can dodge these flames. Now he's gonna reposition. Hopefully he commits to a strike right here. Very nice. Dodge away. We're gonna see if we can hit the wing. Waiting for a tail strike. There's a sloppy one. One of his little lazy tail strikes here. Big stomp with the frost. Big tail swipe. Let's see if I can commit to make him uh, commit to like a flame strike, but he's not right now. Uh oh. No! No, I'm dead. I tried to call the torrent, but I wasn't unable to. I was unable to call torrent, and I was stuck between his legs. So it's just because I get staggered so easily, have no poise. Um, I'm, wearing, I'm wearing prisoner's rag, so not a lot I have here. So if I get hit, it pretty much punishes me, but that's fine. We know what it looks like now. He just sits down on his butt. And I tried to actually sprint past through his legs and then call Torrent, but I just wasn't in the right spot. Ooh, my controller is driving me crazy. Torrent is just going nuts. He's just... everything. Every time I try and turn to the right, the controller wants me to go to the left. So it's uh, it's been a little bit annoying because you have to adjust... That's why I've been having to strafe and make sure I go to the enemy's right, which is my left, you know. I need a new controller ASAP. Because this is not the game you want to be having those, like, fighting the controller with. You want it to be doing exactly what you're expecting it to do. Precision is key here. Alright, let's see what we can do. Oh, you know what? What I'll do in the second phase as well is make sure that I have, uh, I'll pop my Wondrous Physic. Okay, so this is the, I'm looking for the Dragon Wound Grease. Borealis, where are you? Can't see what you're doing. Go ahead and flask up right here. Avoid that stomp. He's going to reposition, so I'm going to apply some of this uh, <clears throat> dragon wound grease. I'm going to sprint out of the way here. <clears throat> Losing my voice. Avoid that stomp. Nice, we just barely cleared the distance there. I'm gonna try and get in front of him so he can commit to a strike here. He's gonna do a <clears throat> a charge, which is fine. Not that the not the desired attack, but it'll work. Tail swipe, and then we'll see if we can hit the face right here. Nope, we missed. It's okay. a lazy tail swipe and I actually didn't even dodge it ouch very 
nice. Got the dodge there, even though we got hit by another sloppy attack. A bite right there. We're gonna do our slash attack on his face if we can. Dodge, dodge. Ooh, that wound grease went away real quick. I can't see him. Nice. <clears throat> I lost sight of him. He flew way too fast. The funny thing is, I thought he flew forward, but then he had somehow moved back. <laughs> Lovely. So we're going to apply our grease here. We'll apply it a bit earlier and then, you know, I'm curious, like, I wonder if the Dragon Wound grease got cancelled out because I have the, you know, the, I guess my talismans that I have, I have two that increase my damage. One is like the wing talisman and one is like a blood talisman. And I don't know if that'll cancel out the uh, the effect of the dragon wound grease. So I'm not sure because it seemed like it didn't last very long. Most of the greases last, I don't know, at least a minute I'd say, maybe 30 seconds. But I mean it seems more like closer to a minute. That did not seem very long at all. Alright, off we go. We're going to cross this frozen lake here. Beat this silly dragon, eventually. Nice. What are you doing? I dodged that so poorly. Okay. Oh, I timed that so poorly. Better said. Nice. Got the frost, but I am wasting my dragon wound grease here. Better probably not to use it, to be honest. Definitely not the way I saw the stream going today. I didn't feel like dying to a dragon multiple times. I've killed so many at this point, it's just disappointing. This one just has a ton of health, and it does have, of course, a handful and a few moves. But, um, that is just enough to defeat me this morning, on this Sunday morning. I don't know how far we're going to get today, unfortunately. Alright, let's cross this frozen lake again. Oh, why do I have this equipped? I don't think I need that. That was more for me to just test out some armor. So let me see. I need to have something different equipped here. That's so funny. We were just talking about our talismans as well. I'm looking for the one that increases my attack. Yep, there you go. Blood loss in the vicinity. That's so funny. I had the wrong one the entire time. Now, I should still be at a medium low, so that's fine. Alright, so now we have a medium. Now we'll have a little bit more increased attack power when we cause bleed. Because I was looking for that. And the funny thing is when I looked up at the top left, I didn't see it. I did not see it. Alright, here goes. Hello, friend. See, visibility is kind of low. Looks like he's just going to reposition there. It's fine. He's knocking down trees and stuff. I get it. He's a tough guy. Gotta regenerate some of my stamina. There's that lazy tail swipe. It has got me twice, actually, in the last two uh, attempts. Got the frost going everywhere. It's fine. We're going to keep our distance here. He's got a big tail swipe. I'm going to actually use torrent here because my controller is really messing up on me right now. So I'm going to clear this area right here. Go on the other side of him. There you go. Uh, we're going to keep our distance again. 
dodge that tail swipe, and then we're gonna sprint in. I can't see what he's doing. Okay, he was just doing a big stomp there. I thought he was trying to bite, so that's okay. This is the bite. One, two, should have enough to clear distance there. Very good. Sprint away. Gonna flask up, get torrent. Gonna flask up again if he can commit to a strike for me here. So he can do that at any time then. Okay, that's good to know. That's not just a desperation attack. Dodge. Usually been, I've been missing that the last few times. There you go. He will get you this time. And... Okay, another stomp. I couldn't tell if he was going to do a tail swipe to the left, which I hadn't seen before. He's in a reposition, so we're going to go ahead and scoot forward. Chicken says, the snow area is quite big and harm some of the harder bosses. No doubt, man. No doubt. These bosses are... They have real, a lot of health. They hit hard, and I'm not wearing any armor. I got the sore seals on, so like I'm taking all kinds of extra damage. But no worries. We'll get him eventually. I just did not expect it to be this hard this early in the morning. <laughs> nice. I was committing to an attack there, so I couldn't really... Not much I could do there. I need to go fly away. Come on, baby. Yep. Oh, that stagger. Doesn't help that I have rags on. That's okay. <clears throat> this is going to be one of those streams. I'm going to be fighting a boss for an hour. If I haven't already. Let's see here. Okay. Yeah, there's no way to cross. So we just determined that a thousand times because this pathway right here is blocked off. So there's going to be a way around then. Okay. And then I can go to that cave that's been blocked by the imp seal as well. Let's just defeat this dragon. This is definitely one of the harder areas, though, I can tell already. Um, the funny thing is, Langdale felt so much easier than Kaled. This is probably, like, on par with Kaled, I'm assuming. I know. Yeah, the plans to beat the game this week have, have again, been pushed back because of... It's just the massive size of the game and then the way I'm playing it too. You know, me trying to go and explore everything. Um, I think on a go for it, what I'll probably do is because although I do like to do that, I'll probably end up having like a file where I stream and I just beat the game. Like say that Elden Ring 2 comes out, right? I'd go go through and beat the game. I'd explore like, I don't know, 60% of it or whatever, but I wouldn't go through every nook and cranny like I have been in this playthrough. Because I would like to get through it, because what happens is then it actually impacts my ability to do lore and things on the other channels, because I'm taking so long to beat it. So I was like, man, I am not going to be able to do that next time. I need to make sure that I beat it relatively quickly, and then I can have a, another file that I'm doing, kind of like at my own at my own pace, at my own leisure, or whatever. And I can just be recording that, and even if that's off stream, that's fine, but... At least playing through and beating it the first time, I'm going to do relatively quickly from now on. Like, if there's a new game that I cover, I'm going to beat it quick. Ah! Um, that way I can at least show the whole game, and then... But I can have a lot of room here to dodge the flames. But yeah, that way I can do that, and then I can have my own file, like my personal file, while I'm doing all this junk, you know? Like, exploring thousands of times, and looking at different things, and whatever else. And a bite. I think I really want to hit you there. Okay, good. One and two. I don't. I can't really do time those dodges either. He'd be tough to no damage unless you just really use torrent a lot more than I'm using. That frost is killing me. Do a frost attack, will you, sir? That's a new attack. I've never seen that before. Never been in front of the dragon for too long either, though, to be honest. I think he's doing that again. <laughs> I've never seen that. 
and the bike. Finally, you don't ever do stomps. These I like. Your other brethren do stomps all the time. Repositioning right there, knocking down trees like a jerk, paying no mind to the environment. Got to call Torrent. I'll have him commit to a flame strike over here. Uh, he's not going to. He's going to do the one he sits up. That's fine. We'll keep our distance this time. He's going to... Oh, he's going to do a stomp. Yeah, I was going to say, I'm screwed. I've never been on torrent when he stomps like that before. go. Somehow that still got me. That range is incredible. I'm gonna pop on Torrent right here. He's just doing a standard flame breath attack. Or frost breath, I guess. Dodge. Got him in the face. I'm gonna get hit twice here. It's pretty much guaranteed. See, we can call Torrent, jump on his back. Another one. He's trying to reposition, which is fine. We'll go ahead and, uh, I'm going to actually stay right in his face for a bit. There you go. Oh, lovely. Killed Torrent. <laughs> And tail swipe. Probably not going to try and punish the face anymore just because I get hit twice guaranteed every time. Oh, he's doing this attack that I don't like. What the hell? Oh my god. <laughs> uh, I'm dead. Cause yeah, that's so ridiculous. Chicken says, "Oh, maybe we should get some DLCs." Yeah, for sure. We're gonna get tons of DLCs. I, I can only imagine there'll probably be like two or three. I can think of like probably a few scenarios where there'd be some bot, like some you know, additional encounters, like maybe some storylines that haven't been like, fleshed out all the way. Uh, I'm really excited about that. But yeah, we'll definitely get DLCs before any kind of Elden Ring 2. I'll just give it an example. Like, the next game that comes out. I'm not going to do my standard, hey, let's try and 100% at the first playthrough. Because I feel like it takes a little too long. And it prevents me from actually creating content on my other channels as well. Um, and so, of course, as you know, relevance and timing and all that stuff is really important. And so if you're not you know, doing it sooner on time, then all the work you do is for naught so I, I kinda shot myself in the foot by doing that and taking my time with it I should have just beat it and then had a file where I was kind of a personal file I, I would say like one that's maybe off stream where I'm doing this stuff so I can get all the footage and show you guys guides and everything but so far it has not been that I was trying to do it my standard way I didn't realize the size of this game though usually when I'm playing like Metroidvanias or other games I can just hundred percent of the first try but this is just a little bit of a different game. It's much larger. Much larger than a lot of those other titles. He's repositioning already. After just one poke. And he's going to bring his little frost over here. I can't believe that prawn got us. That was hilarious. I have to sprint this way for now. An ice prawn. Like, where'd that guy come from? And go towards the legs instead, and oh gosh, yep, that's gonna hurt. Lazy tail swipe right there. I 
That's not the big one yet, so he's not sitting on his haunches just yet, so we're okay. We're going to wait for him to do a, yep, to commit to a strike, then we can flask up. And jump off torrent. Sometimes it's harder than I'd like it to be to get off of torrent. Oh, he's doing his little standard stomp here. Lovely. I'm almost dead. He hasn't done that stomp in a while. I actually prefer that attack to most of his other techniques, but um, I've just been so concerned with some of his other strikes that I was like, oh yeah, that's an easy one. That's an easy one to dodge. Tail swipe right over here. I'm not going to punish the face. I'm actually going to sprint board. There you go. That we can avoid that attack. That was my strategy with the ones that didn't have that, but because he has that ice technique, I am not going to mess with that today. I'm not going to get those free hits in. He's repositioning, so we're going to get on Torrent, who's fortunately not dead yet. <laughs> Chicken says, I don't think anyone realized just how big the game is. Yeah, it's massive. Like, if you've been watching my playthrough, you see how much content there is. Like, because I'm not skipping anything, at least to my knowledge. So it's like, this game is freaking huge. And it has so much. I, I think I'm 100 and some odd hours in. And, uh, I mean, I'm at this area, which I'm, I'm assuming is probably 70 to 80% completion of the game at this point. I'm beyond the halfway mark, I feel. Whee! Never done that before, that was fun. Alright, let's go ahead and slash at the foot. Gotta be very mindful of his attack pattern too. He's just gonna reposition there, so I need to make sure I'm watching his body and understanding what attacks he's gonna be doing next. Again, these guys are all, all use the same techniques, they just have slight variations of their name, so I'm just making sure that you know I'm prepared for that. See, so yeah, I would have preferred to jump on Torrent there. Yeah, because I'm going to take some damage. That's okay. I'll go ahead and flask up because you can flask up on the move. Waiting for him to commit to a strike here. He's going to do the big boy one. This is the last big area. Okay, so I'm probably like 80% of the way there then. But just imagine. I mean, this game is, is incredibly massive. There you go. Don't need Torrent for that one. Pretty good. What are you doing this time? Tail swipe. Sprint through. Yeah, that's gonna hurt. Ooh, he didn't get me that time. Yeah, he did. The residual got me. Gotta dash away quick so we get out of line of sight here. Dodge away from that big stomp. Lazy tail swipe. I'm just watching for that big attack. I feel like he's going to spam it because he's almost dead. He's just doing the standard roar there. Bite. And then I'm going to run through. Very nice. Lazy tail swipe. He's just kind of repeating. Rinsing and repeating. This is the one. Maybe it wasn't. It looked like it. That's the one. That's what we want to stay away from if we can. Lazy tail swipe, and then we're going to go ahead and sprint in. Hit this leg back here. Bite. Nice. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, hopefully have him commit to a strike here. We're gonna dodge behind. He's doing a stomp. And 
That's Borealis, the big bastard dragon. Good gosh. I was gonna say, I better get a dragon heart for that. Borealis, man. Jeez Louise. And we got a new, uh, uh, I guess, incantation of dragons locked as well from the, in, uh, from the uh, dragon communion altar. Uh, chicken saying it's about 85% complete. After this, there is, are still two relatively small areas left, but they hold some of the best bosses. Good, because I can't wait. All right. That was stressful. Now let's see if we can find our way over here. So waypoint one. Okay. We got 100,000 runes for that. See, told you. I, th I was thinking 80,000, but if they're going to be generous to runes, I mean, I'm okay with that. I am okay with that. All right, I'm going to circle. Oh, let's see. Actually, I don't think there's a way through here. No, there's not. So I am going to actually circle around here. I am also assuming the jellyfish were just showing me those two areas over there. Let's check out these ruins really quickly. And then, of course, uh, we will need to see if we can find that map steel. This looks like a church, possibly a church of America. I wouldn't mind getting another sacred tier. We're okay on flasks as well. We got the Somber Stone Miner's Bell Bearing 3. Very nice. And this is the first Church of America. Very cool. Man, we're getting used to these structures, that's for sure. We'll get the Sacred Tier. We'll go ahead and improve our flasks. And we'll level up as well. Let's see. Oh, rest, please. It's like Dragon, uh, Borealis Dragon has respawned. I'm just kidding. Uh, okay, so at this point we have 22. I think I was going to what, to 25? Really isn't even worth it, to be honest, but that's fine. I'll go up to 25, and then this I'm going to try to bump up to 24. Which probably won't happen this playthrough, but I'd like to try. Uh, mix the Wondrous Physic Flask. Flask charge is at maximum. That's what I'm talking about. So I have 11. Well, how many other flasks? And three. So I like to allocate my flasks, actually, and change it to 10 and 4, I suppose. So you can only have a total of 14 flasks. So that's kind of weird. 15 would have been better. I'm just saying. All right, sweet. So what we need to do is head over to this map steel right here. Let me go ahead and remove that one for now. And we're going to waypoint number two. These little jellyfish are so awesome. You know, the funny thing is on a level one run, if you're using summons or ashes more specifically, uh, the jellyfish is fantastic because it creates or it procs uh, poison. And you get it from Roderica, so it's like a fantastic opportunity there, and I think it's a good one to use. Just for anybody trying to figure out how to beat the game, you know, like, that would be one way to do it. Poison your way through it. Alright. Puppy dogs. Oh, there's more of them, okay. That one saw me. Death by dogs. The funny thing is, dogs in all the, the From games, anyway, are incredibly difficult. They usually can destroy your poise. They can cause bleed. They do tons of damage. And their attack patterns are really nice, though, too. At least we were able to just uh, tag this most recent set of grace, so we'll just go right over there. Search those uh, coffins, grab some of our runes, and then we'll get out of there. We'll get out of that area quick. I'm going to switch to my rapier. What the hell? Didn't mean to do that. There was another puppy around there. That's fine. We'll get this one instead. Grab our, like, thousand runes over here. Oh, 1,400. Okay, very nice. Got 
Gotta bait one of them. There you go. That'll work. That'll work for me. Death by dogs. There's the one that was way off in the distance. Guess he wanted some of this as well. We'll get on top of Torrent. It's just so much easier. You don't have to like jump on anything. You can just be on Torrent's back and actually if you if you just mount it up, you can go ahead and grab whatever's here. It'll be like at waist level for you, so it's much easier. Okay, sweet. So we got this over here, which is probably going to lead us to the pathway up there. But let's just search what's around here, just in case there's anything else around the corner here. Got this evil dog. They say that no dog's evil, it's the owner. No, 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 no. This dog is evil. That is an evil pet. Holy cannoli. Is that one of those T-Rex dogs over there? Yeah, this is definitely Kalid 2.0. I mean, there's no doubt about it. There's no doubt. Um, these guys are no fun to fight either. Uh, let's see here. Oh, yeah, there's more than one. My favorite. Okay, that one's munching on some stuff, so let me see if I can rock sling this bro then. Get his attention. Oh, that was bad. I'm just kidding. He got stunned. Very nice. Love the gravity magic. Very good at stunning. I'll get him right in the eyeball. Because why not? 1100 damage. That's good. He's going to sense me. So I might as well just go in for it, right? Oh, dokey. Thank you for the collision detection there, because that would have been nasty. What were you munching on? It looked really tasty the way you're eating it. I do believe that the map steals over here. I remember there's that, that spirit geyser we can take. These guys just like to eat whatever's there. I guess it's like carrion. Probably like dead flesh or something. Rotten flesh. It's roadkill. Oh, lovely. I messed that one up, but that's okay. The funny thing is the one-handed strikes are actually a bit more powerful, but they don't cause bleed as quickly, I don't feel. Alright, alright. We got these fire slugs over here, another beast. Got some smoldering butterflies. I'm assuming that they want me to use... Uh, fire, which I could gladly do. Hello, you're just knocking down trees, okay. Alright. Eyeball. I'm gonna switch to two-handed. Oh, or not. Okie dokies. Love the range on these things. Love the range on the hook claws. Dog butt. I'm going to equip my fire grease, and actually I'm going to make some too. Let's just see if it does any additional damage. Look at all these. Red main fire pot. These are probably even stronger versions of just the standard ones. Uh, fire grease, I thought was up here. There it is. Excellent. Alright. We're going to bypass those little pups. We're going to go to the big uh, velociraptor dogs. The T-Rex dogs. And maybe I can come up here to like to unaggro all of these dogs because they're going to be pissed. Jump up here. Oh gosh, maybe not. Jump up here. There's an ever goal up here. Ooh, nice. Have to come back for that in just a moment. Hmm. 
I'm gonna go get that map fragment before anything else. I'm gonna grab my runes and <clears throat> go get my uh, my map steel. Go find the map stone, grab the map fragment, better said. And then we'll go and uh, explore all this stuff. Ooh, another big guy. We actually have that weapon. And it's amazing. That big red hammer. I think I see something. Oh, this reminds me of the DLC for Dark Souls 2. The Old Iron King. Man, that's awesome. I bet that's going to come alive. <laughs> Maybe not. All the trees look like those dudes. Oh, thank you. Are we good now? Good gosh. Okay. Let's go back to the First Church America, where the hell that is. First Church America. And now we got the map fragment. That's fantastic. Because I was getting like, come on. We're never going to find this. I like to kind of skip through that and grab those usually anyway. So that's fine. All right. So now we can go to this cave. Spirit Collar Cave. There's going to be a bunch of little snails then, I'm sure. The bottom left is a bottom right's a fun place. This right here. It looks like an amazing place. I'm definitely going there. Yeah, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here. Like, just search whatever this is real quick. Circle back down. And go straight here. This is probably the... I imagine it's the boss boss. And this is probably, like, a dungeon. You know how there's, like, the minor dungeons and the bigger dungeons? This area wasn't so clear, but this was pretty much, like, the big dungeon. And everything else was, like, the... Oh, well, this was technically, like, the minor dungeon. Mount Galmir, I don't know. It was all kind of weird. And you had the dungeon. I don't know. No, the mountain on the left side of the red BS. The mountain on the left side of the red BS. So, like, over here? I will try this. Yeah, I'll go there. I'll definitely go there. Oh, there's that prawn. Remember that stupid thing? Oh, they're everywhere. See? Huh. A bunch of them. That means they're not special. Alright, let's go use a stone sword key to pop inside this cave here and see what kind of goodies they have. We have that ever goal that we saw as well, which is exciting. The funny thing is I don't even know in relation to where I was just at. What the hell? I guess it's up here. I don't know. I'll find it again. It's easy to find. Normally they're marked. And I forgot. They're not called goals. They're called jails. That's just the old spelling, I think, for jail. Dung eater. Help me understand the pronunciation of that word. Let's go ahead and uh, sit at the side of Grace. And let's go kill some stuff. Am I going to fall? Is it a, a trap? Okay, it's a skull. <laughs> Couldn't tell what that was upside down like that. And some budding cave moss. Oh, regular cave moss. Okay. Yeah. Totally missed that platform. We'll be able to circle back around. Yep, we've fought these snails before. They're super annoying. It's fine, though. We should be fine. This will be fine. It'll be fine. We got this pathway up here. Probably takes us back up where we just fell down. What? Uh, 
Alright, come on, bro, if you want some. Okina, you help me with uh, Star Scourge Radon. What are you doing? Oh! I cannot get situated here. You doing, you snail bastard? You're in my way. Whew, Inaba is dead. Okina. Alright, sweet. I don't know what that was about. Freezing Grease. Golden Rune 12. Some cave moss. Yeah, like, what the hell was that about, man? Like, we fought t side by side. I guess I did kill Eastfawn, though, so I get it. Okay, never mind. I stand corrected. I killed one of your friends. I think he used the seppuku as well. I saw him do that because I thought he was hurt. I mean, I guess technically it did hurt him. It did quite a bit of damage to him. And I was able to finish him out pretty quickly, though. Let's see what's over here. Trap. Golden rune. Hero's rune. Rune arc. Very nice. It's been a while since I've actually uh, used one of those. Budding cave moss. Ooh. Where's the spit? Oh, okay, I see the snail. Okay. Arteria leaf. Remember, we still need to go all the way down. Doesn't seem like there's something, anything special here, though, to be honest. No illusory walls. Go up this over here. Yeah, this is one of those big caves. We have the uh, few paths, pretty much the very top where we fell through. This might be it, actually. Yep. So this is the way back up. where we came through. That's where we checked out that one area. Busted through that floor there. Alright. Not bad at all. Okay, let's drop back down and then we'll go through the other way. We'll continue dropping down. Let's see, is this... Yeah, that's a safe platform. Very nice. I fell all the way through and didn't die, so that was nice. We got a decent amount of health, and our dexterity is pretty high as well, so... Our fall damage is minimal until it's lethal. <laughs> now we can come down here, see what Okina was guarding. Where's your little snail friend? go. Problem solved. <laughs> we got the white reed set, but I will check that out later. I'm getting chased by uh, wolves right now. Very nice. No reason to fight those guys at all. The familiars are not worth it. Just go straight for the uh, the summoner. The funny thing is there was actually a really cool catacomb that had that same mechanic, but before you even knew that a spirit collar snail was a thing, you know? Um, so you didn't realize you had to kill that first. It was really neat. And then there was uh, they used it in several catacombs where the spirit calling snails were hidden, and you had to go find them to destroy the, uh, the enemies that kept respawning. So We are quite familiar with them now, fortunately. We'll check out that white reed set. All right, do it now, I guess. The white reed set. I wonder, I don't know if it was the full set, though. I mean, it seemed like I was missing a piece. Maybe not the helmet, right? We're going to go to order of acquisition. So I didn't get a helmet, yeah. The white reed armor. Armor of the white reeds fashioned from banded iron plates worn by the Inaba head disciples of the great swordsman Okina. 
The Inaba traveled in pursuit of not only the master who abandoned them, but also proper deaths won honorably through the hard-fought combat. To be a white reed is to seek death, fitting for the Inaba, who desired nothing more than to die by the sword. Hmm. Armor of the white reeds, worn by the Inaba. Head disciples of the great swordsman. Alright, sweet. Well, that's pretty awesome. Let's go see who this is. The Godskin Apostle. Lovely. Oh, I'm not ready for this. Okay, that's fine. Yep. I wish I could parry better. I just need to practice parrying. I'd have a good strategy to parry with these guys. It looks like they're parryable because they're humanoid enough. Should have punished there, but that's okay. Wanted to be safe. We'll punish here. And he'll punish as well. <laughs> he'll punish back. Are you gonna do your thing? I should have just iframed that one. Okay, that's fine. Nice. Should have healed and then done what I just did, but he actually caught me off guard with his little squiggly. Normally I can iframe through that. Roll through his uh, his spinning attack. Hopefully there's a stake of America nearby, and um, that way we can go ahead and just go straight to the boss fight. Hold on, guys. Okay. So I had to answer a message. Okay, let's do this. Nope, it doesn't seem like there's a, a stake of Merrick or anything nearby. Mm. Posture check. Indeed, indeed. Yeah, oh my gosh, yeah, I was sitting so... It's so funny that ever since you've asked for that, it actually does help. Saves my spine. Ouch, ouch, ouch. No worries, you guys are dead. I'm sitting straight. I'm sitting straight. I know you can't see me, but on my other streams, you definitely could. That's... Okay, so he's not back then. Oh, that's just an Inaba. Okay, I see. I see. Inaba, disciple of Okina. That's just why we got the read set. That's not actually Okina. Dodge. Those tackles are so annoying. Alright, cool. Now we're here. Let's go ahead and defeat this bro. Alright, we got you. Mm -hmm. I love fighting these guys. I just wasn't ready for one just yet. Nice. Lost my damage negation bubble. Due to a poorly timed heal. I thought I was off to the side there, it's okay. And then slight. Oh my gosh. How am I not dodging that? I feel like I'm off to the side, but maybe I'm not far enough to the side to dodge that when he scrapes back. Because I see it, and I'm actually anticipating it, but I'm just trying not to have to dodge it so I can go in and punish. I don't like that one. I'm going to come in close. I'm going to flask up here. Wait for him to do his... Huh, that attack. Oh, he's doing the swipe. Yep, got to be careful with that one. I'm waiting for him to do the one I can iframe through. That's the one I want you to do, but not hit me. 
go ahead and flask out so we can finish him off this time. Dodge through. Sloppy fights this entire round. I'm, that's unfortunate for this stream, but it is what it is. I'm sorry, guys. I hate that I'm playing so sloppy, but... Oh my gosh, a Godskin Noble as well. I was not expecting you, good sir. I was expecting a duo at some point, but not like this. You're beefy too. Okay, I need to then save my heals. I can defeat the first one pretty easy. This one I don't know all of his moves just yet, but I can start figuring them out for sure. Dodge through. I can see you. He hit me with the hilt. I got that God Stitcher weapon. That looks amazing. Alright, come here, big boy. When he does that, yeah, whenever he gets to half point, he starts stretching all over the place. It makes crazy. Two. Yep. All donut on me here. Okay. Erratic movement. Check. Dodge through. Punish. Back away. Dodge to the side. I don't know why I tried that. Curious. Curiosity, I suppose. Dodge. Oh, we're trading and I'm gonna die here. He beat me with that one, that's for sure. I was trying to just keep my distance because I knew I didn't have a ton of health, but yeah. Maybe I'll reallocate, I will reallocate the, um, the flask and I will have maybe 11 and 3 again. Let's do this. Let's run back through. So I had no clue that was a two-part boss fight. I was, if anything, expecting if that encounter, a godskin apostle and a godskin noble to be at the same time. <laughs> but it wasn't. Lucky me. All right, off we go. We should be able to dodge or avoid most of these enemies as well. I would also like to try and incorporate the seppuku into my uh, my build. I can go back to the Ash of Wars before long and check that out. Hello, friend. You gonna do your tackle attack? Vulpix, tackle. And then go ahead and uh, flask real quick. All right, let's do this. This time I'm gonna prepare for two fights. Can you knock down some of these trees? They're in my way. I'd really appreciate that. There's that scrap. I finally dodged it. <laughs> I went through that like three different times. I'm like, you know what? Let's get hit by that. I think that would be the thing to do. Nice. Good punish. When he poked me, I wasn't able to recover and I jacked up. Look at that. Oh, he's got scruff on this on the on his face. On that meat on top of his bag. That's nasty. He has got peach fuzz on it. Alright, here goes. 
Let's try this again. We gotta prepare for two fights, not just one. So we're gonna drop down and yep, no damage there. Nice, nice, nice. Sprint through this area as well. Inaba. That must mean that Okina is nearby then. We've seen a lot of those themes, like I'm assuming maybe the land of reeds is near this area because we have seen a lot of the eastern type armaments uh, ashes of war and things like that around here so we found the seppuku around here so and we've been fighting inaba which are okina's people so that's interesting can you black flame me please no okay Very nice. There's my black flame. Yeah, that hit with the hilt is always a tough one to dodge. The eye frames there. Dodge back. Great. Dodge. Oh, that's the big AoE. I forgot about that one. Go through. That was scary. I kind of waited last minute for that. We should be able to punish this, though. Very nice. Now we got the big boy. I don't know where he comes from. Oh, the hilt. Yep, thank you for that, sir. Got, uh, completely destroyed my damage negation bubble there. I wasn't sure what to expect on that attack there. That's okay, though. Oh, poke. And another poke. And then probably another. Yep, third. Yikes! He does those stabs with his hilt, and those are annoying. What's he doing? Oh, okay. He was waiting for me to do that. Oh my gosh. He's everywhere. One and two. Okay, he didn't do his two strikes there. Good gosh. This guy's insane. I need to fight more of these guys. Because I was in the middle of an animation, he hit me once. I got extra damage and died, of course. Boss Hoggy here with the tab. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate the, uh, the support, my friend. Hope you're having a great day today. I see that at least a few moments ago you were live as well. Hopefully you're enjoying your Fortnite. Oh, goody. Godskin Noble is an annoyance that I am not used to just yet. I think I've only fought the one or two, so still adjusting. Why are you fighting back? Don't attack me at all. Alright, we're going to bypass all of these spirit enemies there. This is definitely Spirit Calling Cave. It's odd that, um, <sighs> you know what I'm thinking? That the fight's not going to be over with just those two because if they're, they're spirit form as well. The Godskin, Apostle, and Noble. They are definitely still like in the spirit type form. So I wonder if there's a snail nearby that I just haven't seen yet. I wouldn't put it past FromSoft to do that. Yep, 
Give me those 347 runes. I earned them. Just a minute too late, and I died. <clears throat> Funny thing is, I was like anticipating to go in and punish the attack, but he spun it just a few seconds more than I would have anticipated, so... You cannot anticipate in this game. You gotta just actually uh, watch carefully. You can't just assume anything. But I, I, I am curious because those are definitely spirit versions of the God, Skin, Apostle, and Noble. So I'm like, what is going on here? Because there's been spirit calling snails all throughout. So maybe the it won't end with just our defeat of the Noble and the Apostle. Maybe there's another <laughs> enemy or something. Nice. Excuse me. Thank you, thank you. Clear the way. Alright, what do you got? Go ahead and punish. Back away. Uh, I wasn't sure what to expect there. That's a different one. One I'm not familiar with exactly, so back away, back away. Punish. We have the Godskin Apostle set, which is really cool, by the way. I didn't mean to flask there, but that's okay. That'll work. Punish, back away, avoid the scrape. If that hits you, that does a lot of damage. Dodge, up oh, or not. The little one seems to cast faster. Much faster than the big boy. Oh, your delays are so annoying. Let me go ahead and back away from this. Nice. You cut down the trees. Dodge four. Hit him a few times. There you go. Nice, see if we can punish. Killed me. Wowzers. Dead again. <clears throat> and we've defeated the Godskin Apostle many times. It's just... I feel like they're definitely... Um, probably got a little bit more health or something. They hit hard too. They hit really hard. More than anything. Now, even back when I was in Kaled Tower, the uh, the gods can apostle there could kill me in about two hits, but my health was much, much lower, so it just goes to show that they're much stronger here as well. And I'm so concerned because even after we defeat the Godskin Noble, what's next? We'll just dodge around. Kill them just because I don't want to hear them howl. Just kidding. Nice. 347. Alright, here goes. Let's see if we can actually win. Dodge. And the scrape. Punish. We'll go ahead and heal during that window instead. Gonna keep my distance here. Dodge forward, attack. 
I'll just do one attack there from now on. Dodge back. He's gonna do the two slashes there, the really wide ones. We'll go ahead and punish. Big AoE. Dodge through, We're gonna unlock on and then hit him as much as possible here. Wait for him to do a black flame attack if possible. Nope, he's just trying to do a slash. He's gonna come back around, yep, and punish. I forgot about that one. We're gonna heal here again. There you go. Dodge, punish. Dodge, get the scrape, punish. There you go, we're gonna unlock on, hit him as much as we can. And then a big slash right there. Alright, now we wait for the big boy. Excuse me, sir. Thank you. <clears throat> oh, lovely. He went face. Oh my gosh, I thought he was. I do not like you. Oh, he can attack from across the way. That's nice. Dead if I get if I get hit there. So I gotta just back away here. Flask up. Dodge forward. Hit him again. Back away. Barely dodge that. Dodge through. This guy's in your face all the time, too. And another attack here. I didn't do enough damage. Alright. Nope, got punched in the face. You can always spam gravity magic. Yeah, I could, but it's just like, with this guy, I don't even know his attack patterns that well. I've only fought him the one or two times, so he's a little bit rough, and for some reason, I'm getting destroyed by the first one. I could spam the the magic, though, for sure, and we can get that, uh, that, that stagger. The first one is, um, surprisingly, still scary. I, I didn't think it was until I got back here, because we fought a handful of the apostles before, for sure. But man, he's, uh, this one hits hard. This one hits really hard. But I will, I'll spam some gravity, a uh, rock sling here, and maybe stun him and get a critical or two. I'm just taking lots of damage. And then by the time I get to that four, that another one, the other one, if he hits me once or twice, like you pretty much, uh, twice and I'm dead. But anything beyond that, it's like, well, should I heal or not? You know, you're kind of in that weird, should I heal or should I not heal? Punish? No? Okay. Very nice.
again. Hopefully with all three. Yeah, he's a little too close, actually, so it's actually, I'm missing a handful of these. Trying to get the direct hits. And strafing to the right is incredibly hard on this controller. Keeps forcing me to go left, or it's pushing me to the left. It's really annoying. There you go. Okay, flask up, wait for the black flame, go punish, back away, back away, and I'm stuck against a bush, that's nice, scrape, get my 347 runes, dodge, and then we're going to do this attack here, back away, back away, do it again, and slash, Nice. See if I can punish. Oh, can't get killed by that. Nice. I'll get killed by an easy uppercut instead. <clears throat> Good gosh, this is a, I would say, a really poor performance this stream. Not pleased. Not pleased at all. Making a lot of simple mistakes. Like the dragon should have been killed e way sooner. Especially considering that I fought so many before. And he had a new attack or two. But that's not enough to, to kill us as many times as it did. <clears throat> I will say though that man it is a pain fighting with this controller. Like every time you see my characters jitter or stutter, it's because I'm trying to turn to the right and my controllers force me to go left. So it's so much easier to strafe left, but some of the enemies and uh, just my normal like way to strafe is not that way. So, And I'm just making simple mistakes. Like I should be getting hit here. I should have a nice path here that pretty much avoids all damage, but you know, sometimes you're going to have bad days. Can't let the bad days ruin you. Alright, here goes. What do we got, big guy? Doing that today, huh? Okay, okay. Very nice. <clears throat> mm hmm. I see. Black Flame. I'll go ahead and just dodge that. Ooh, that was really close. I'm gonna start strafing to the left a little bit more because that, that is getting worse and worse, man. Okay, here you go, right there, and left. Go. Nice. Back away, back away. Ah. Or just jump right into the black flame, that's fine too. Show me one of your squishy moves, your little stretchy moves. That's the one I want. One, and then he's going to do the second strike right there. No! That's the big AoE. We're just going to sprint out of the way here. Black Flame, I'm not going to punish that, it's fine. A little too far away. <clears throat> Ooh, I don't have very many flasks left either. One and two. Yeah, 
Yikes. Oh, he hit me right in the face. my bubble here if I don't be careful. Tail swipe. Okay, I'm not familiar with that either. Dodge. 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 Okay, let's do some rock sling on this dude. Dodge and dodge and Back away, yep. Dodge to the side. Dodge to the side. This guy covers some ground. A master swordsman. Oh, I did not mean to cast twice, but that's okay. Tail swipe. Yep. <laughs> and he beat me. I think I'm going to end it here. I'm actually pretty frustrated with the way I've been doing today. And, and also, um, I've got to eat and stuff too. It just the whole stream has been such a bad performance. And um, I'm not feeling it. Just not feeling it. So we'll go ahead and beat the Spirit Caller Cave tomorrow. Or later tonight, depending on when I stream again. But I got some other stuff to do. So we will figure it out then. Um, essentially, got to take on the Spirit Caller Cave. We got a handful of other areas as well. The Rise. Uh, apparently, we just clear out the lake, which is nice. We'll come back down here. Uh, this looks like a pretty fun little area, though. Probably like a, a minor dungeon. So we'll check that out. And then we'll circle back around, come through here, and then defeat what I'm assuming that's the area boss. It's And I think this would be the probably the minor dungeon, so... We'll be sure to check that out. But anyways, yeah, I can't do it today or right now. Not in the mindset. I haven't uh, been able to get in my rhythm this entire stream. And it's two hours in, so I'm not going to uh, punish myself any longer. But anyways, I hope you guys had a great stream. I will honestly say I didn't enjoy it as much as I normally do. But until next time, it's Inhuman1 signing out.